Welcome back my friends to TFT Hyperroll with Artark. Today I want to go over with you the four builds I think you should know that will help you climb. Now let me first graphic, like, comment, subscribe, lives, weekends, noon, yeah, you know all that stuff. Okay, but before we get into the four builds I want to get over that I think you should know to climb, I actually want to discuss some builds that work, but I don't necessarily think you should be going for unless the game really, really seems to be going in your direction. Now, why is that? And the reason is because I've found that some of these other builds that are good when they get to the end are competitive and it's difficult for more than one version of them to get to the end. So if there's competition for them and you're not the one with it, you're probably getting knocked out. The builds I'm going to recommend that you know are ones where I have seen two forms of them consistently get to the end. So one of the builds I get asked about the most, especially when playing live, is to do either the admin laser or the brawler laser build and it ultimately looks something like this however i have found this build to be a little bit problematic even when you feel that you should be doing well and it's because you are in a race for warwick against the other teams doing this build now, Warwick is key for two reasons. One, he's a powerful four-cost unit. But secondly, is that's your fourth laser. And at four lasers is when all of your champs get lasers. If you end up stuck at three, as so many people do, heading into eight, you're probably going to be losing through most of seven and eight until you have a chance to get Warwick. And... You're going to be playing from behind at that point and so while laser core may be considered a meta build because you're likely going to see it in nearly every top four you're not likely to see two of them so if you go for it you're taking a pretty big risk because there's competition for it and you're hoping that you're the one who's going to come out ahead the next builds I don't recommend are the Star Guardian builds. Even though I've used them, I've made videos about them, and they're a lot of fun to play when you can make it work, so many people are going for it. And there just doesn't seem to be that much room in the top four for multiple Star Guardian builds, especially since they often rely on Kaisa to be the carry. You can sometimes get away with it between Nico and Lux, but you're still battling for champions that are highly sought after in a build that is highly sought after. And I don't often see multiple Star Guardian builds getting into the top four. They usually wind up eliminating each other or one will come out on top and get to the end, but there are often three or more per lobby. Are these builds meta? 100%. People use them every single game. Can they win? 100%. I see these builds win a lot. Are they reliable for consistently getting you into the top four so you climb? Not from what I've seen and from what I've tested. I've found that, yeah, you're maybe going to get third, fourth sometimes, or maybe come out on top, but you're also oftentimes going to just fall to eighth place, and that is not conducive to climbing. Okay, we've talked about what not to do, so let's get into what to do and why I suggest it. Now, I think any of the four builds I'm about to show you can be forced, but these first two are best forcible under certain circumstances. If you get an augment that is going to earn you gold, like get paid, or golden ticket, or something like that, you may want to consider going into super hearts. 
because it is based on the ability to do a lot of rolling and get a lot of three-star champs. In Super Hearts, your key champion is Sona. Your key items are Blue Buff and Hextech Gunblade. This will allow you to do a lot of casting. Remember, each time a heart champion casts, your entire team gains AP. When you combine it with supers, they're going to get more damage based on the number of supers. If you're getting a lot more gold from getting actual kills, as you can see, it's going to add up, you're going to be able to roll, and you're going to get a lot of three-star champs. It's kind of a perfect build for Hyper Roll because it has eight core champions. It's going to be your six heart champions and your three supers with one crossover being Lee Sin. That then allows you to bring in one additional champion such as a Fiddlesticks or an Urgot who can act as critical CC when you need it. But as you can see, it can get exceptionally powerful towards the end of the match. Most important tip for endgame on super hearts is make sure you have good five cost champions on the bench for Syndra to fling in. They can often mean the difference between winning and losing. In this case, with the extra cash, we had so many three star champions. Yeah, it was going to be a first place. Now the second build you should think about in situations like this is the one I call my favorite build or I have also called the Zack Pack because ChatGPT suggested it. But it is combining supers, mascots, and rift walkers. And it becomes best when you have the ability to get additional gold. It doesn't always start that way. As you can see in this particular match, we started off with a woodland charm, which just gives us more beef on the board. Then we got a mascot emblem, so it was easier to get all the mascots. But once we got the chance, yeah, there is a gin augment that will give you additional gold based on gin getting kills and that will allow you to then bring lots of three stars onto your team and you can see very quickly how this works zach becomes a mascot but the beauty of this build is because it involves supers your team is going to get exponentially stronger as it goes You'll notice that Jin will be able to let loose a lot of gold here just by getting kills. We can then use that gold to roll for additional champions. The other double whammy for this is if you get your Riftwalker champions up to three stars, they're going to give you more power for the supers and also make Zack even stronger and turn him into a three star. And you can see, you can get a lot of gold doing it. I'm going to do some more videos on this build next week, including a Can We Force It? And you'll see kind of how reliable it can be. It's not necessarily a first, but it's fairly consistent with getting you into the top four and will certainly help you climb. If you combine it with lots of extra money, then it can certainly lead you into first place. Now, both of these previous builds that I just showed are forcible even without getting extra gold. That just makes them kind of a slam dunk. The next builds I'm going to show you are even in some ways more forcible. This is, yeah, of course, it's Animaniacs. I've stopped playing it only because I've been playing it for so long that I'm kind of bored with it. But... It will get you into the top four just about every time. And it is done by combining the Anima Squad and the Pranksters. And I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I feel like I've done this so many times. But Jinx items, Rage Blade, Spear of Sojin, Static Shiv, that's because it is going to weaken the opposing team's magic resist, the Static Shiv. You're setting up to bring in Misfortune later. I like going Rage Blade, Spear of Sojin, and Jeweled Gauntlet for maximum power and her ability to cast early and often. There are eight champs involved in the main build, so you get to bring in an additional threat at the end, usually Fiddlesticks or Urgot, to help finish things off. 
as you can see, this match, if he came, Animaniacs versus Animaniacs, that happens a lot. And remember, the key is getting into the top four, and it's not usually half the lobby going for it. It's two, maybe three people, not often three, but as long as you're getting in top four, even if it's second, you're climbing, and that's what matters. And the final build is Infinite Sure Shots. Of course it is, because what else could it possibly be? This is my go-to when I just want to win and not have to think too much about it. It's a pretty easy build to go through because you're just buying Infinite Team and then the Sure Shots. Item-wise, you are thinking about your Samira items, which are Last Whisper, Infinity Edge, Hand of Justice. That'll give her a 100% crit chance. It'll also allow her to just destroy a team with her ult. You can also go with Deathblade on Samira, as that won't give you the same amount of crit chance, but will give her a lot more raw power. For Augments, Healing Augments, Thrill of the Hunt, Celestial Blessing, if you can get Mana Tempering, it's excellent. For Sivir, as that will stack attack damage on top of the attack damage your champions are already getting for being sure shots. So they're going to have a lot of attack damage with this Augment. If you don't get that one and you get the four cost, look for style and flair. Assuming you don't get an Infinity Team emblem or heart or otherwise, what you're going to do is bring in Garen and then ultimately move Lucian out once you get Ezreal, since that will give you the five Infinity Team for sure shots that you need, and then you will bring in an additional champion like Urgot or Fiddlesticks to help you finish the whole thing off. Once this build comes together, it's a little nonsensically powerful, and you're pretty much guaranteed top four, if not first place, if you get the right set of augments and the right champions with just decent items. As you can see, there's a lot that goes on, and you can win very easily against a lot of other builds. So there they are. These are the four builds that I like just to know to make sure you can climb and just to show you I decided to do my little ranked run over the last couple of days I think it took eight games total to get to gold I just want to get there for the reward but I used infinite sure shot to finally secure and make it into gold as you can see I ended it with a first place and the full infinite sure shot build so these builds work Hope you enjoyed this video and as always have an absolutely, absolutely awesome day.